I'm JD, welcome back to my channel. Got this Pride and Prejudice Jump Journal to share. And I bought this book in an op shop and I got it because I just fell in love with the colour uh, cover. The colour too, it's blue. <laughs> but the the beautiful image on the front with this bridge and this gold gilding, uh, I just love it. So I bought it for that reason. <laughs> and it was an also an illustrated copy. So the images were very beautiful and I've been using those in some journals as well. And I've also used them in this journal, which you'll see. Um, what was I going to say? Let me just... Um, okay, let's just... I'll show you this side. And my inspiration for these ruffles and things and lace and bits of trim was... Let me just see if I can <laughs> show you. See this picture here? This was one of the images from the book. And I loved it. This ball dance. And these beautiful dresses, the colours and the style, I just was like, yes. And this image here inspired the theme or the look or the style of this journal. So the idea behind these was to represent the dresses here. And as you can see, I've kind of got yellow to represent the yellow, the blue for the blue, and there's a pink one here for pink and some of the whites, uh, white as well, obviously. <laughs> and that was, like, I just love looking at that image. That is so beautiful. And then, yeah, it very much inspired this trim. So it's like, there's the dress, <laughs> kind of. Um, and, yeah, I'll, I'll get into this. Oh, also, wait, no. The other thing, I don't know if you can see it, but there's also, like, pearls, pearls here. Some little pearls here and here some diamantes and the idea behind that was again those dresses they have well not particularly these ones but I, I think of those lovely beautiful dresses and how they're decorated with pearls and diamantes and yeah so that was the idea that it's a dress. <laughs> it's one of those dresses. I'm not sure if that comes across, but let's just do a flip through. Um, well, let me show you the spine first, because even the spine is beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? With the gold and just the the flourish here, and oh, it's just beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> I just fell in love with the cover. And then, okay, so the inside cover was this blue, and I was going to keep it because it's blue and I liked it. But then these images from the book, it says Pride, that's the title page, <laughs> and, well, obviously Prejudice, and this beautiful image here, oh, so I was so glad to do that, look at that. <laughs> I, I just love it, it's, and these lilies, and, okay, the thing is, I don't, I've never read Pride and Prejudice, I'm not into the classics or Jane Austen, so... I wasn't going to make a Pride and Prejudice book. I just loved the cover and I was going to do something with the cover and do something else completely. But I just, the pictures were too beautiful and the inspiration just came. And I know other people love Jane Austen and Pride and Prejudice and I was inspired by their journals and I wanted to create something, hopefully maybe, you know, to go to someone who loves Jane Austen and who loves Pride and Prejudice. And I wanted to keep that theme in here for them. So, chapter one, I included some pages from the actual book, and I love this flourishing or script writing. It's beautiful. And copy dyed pages. And because I was originally going to put the library card on the front, because it was just a plain cover, the plain blue. But then when I put this on, I was like, mm, well, I still want to include it. So I put it close to the front there for you. And again, the pages, I did some coloured to go with the dress. Like, the dresses can be different colours and then interspersed them with um, the coffee dyed papers for the vintage look. So we're going for dresses and vintage in this. <laughs> and garden as well because it's the garden images also inspired me. So I've got flower trim. There's also trim in here and flowers. <laughs> so garden type things. So here we go. More flowers. Tag pocket. <laughs> Let's just get into a flip through. <laughs> so I, I just like the um, idea of the... Um, it's the theme behind it. That's what really gets 
me in a journal. Um, yes, <laughs> not sure if I'm explaining that well. Love this beautiful paper bag and there's a large mason jar in there. And my beautiful lady. So that's what I mean. Every little detail is going towards this theme. And so that's, you know, is her name Elizabeth? I'm so bad at this. I was actually, confession, listening to Pride and Prejudice, the audiobook, while I was um, making this journal. <laughs> I thought this might inspire me. So, and I love this one because it's actually um, like italics writing because it's letters. As I was going through the book, I realized there was a lot of letters and I wanted to include that because I love letters and that was just fun writing um, style. Trivia! Oh, I just love it. Um, so I got about, the thing is when I, oh, by the way, sorry. <laughs> Here's one of my very first goes at sewing. There it is. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so proud of myself. Oh, and this is a page from the journal. Um, that blue colour. Oh, page from the book, sorry, original page from the book. I want to include lots of the book in here too. And I mean, I'm sorry, I'm jumping everywhere, here, then, everywhere, because each time I turn a page, it's like, ah, oh, I just need to tell you about this, and that's what I mean about junk journals. Every time you turn a page, it's like, there's a story behind something. And then I put one in the front too, of the beautiful dresses. Oh, I just love it so much. Oh my goodness. Uh, calm down. Okay. Some of the pages I included as a fold out here and because it's like she's reading a letter and there's the letter <laughs> it's almost perfect this fabric pocket and oh my gosh just amazing here's some more of that stuff here sorry i'm just like you know when you like your own journal a lot <laughs> That's, it's just like <laughs> so funny okay anyway um doily <laughs> mason jar another large doily I just put some floral stickers there, again, because I pull out anything floral or anything that goes with a the theme, I try to put in the journal. So, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, a little bit here with this pocket, CD pocket, or case, <laughs> used as a pocket. Another doily there, some of this beautiful um, ledger paper, I love it. This folds out here, a side pocket. <laughs> love this trim so much. It's, one, it's my, my favourite. Oh, I love it. Here's another bit of my sewing. Oh! <laughs> and there's a little journaling card from Happy Mail. Um, I feel like there was something I was, was going to say, wasn't there? Um, oh, and hearts, because it's a, it's a love story, isn't it? <laughs> Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> yeah, so I was... I didn't get to... Um, like, I did this in stages. This journal, oh, this glassine envelope, and this folds out as a journaling spot. I love that. Oh, it's so simple but effective. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, um, <laughs> I get so stuck because I get distracted by the pages in the journal. <laughs> Another image from the book. <laughs> Lovely. Um, I love Diamantes. So sparkly. Um, okay. Concentrate, what else was I saying? <laughs> Alright, yeah, I did this journal in stages and just another image from the book. And I didn't, I, um, when I was listening to the audiobook, like, I, it didn't come to me to do that until the very last stage. Love this trim. And so I could have listened to so much more of the book, but I only got two hours. In the last stage, I did a two hour stint, or just over two hours, and or some music paper to go with like music you dance at the ball. Anyway, <laughs> just need to point out these details <laughs> and the thought behind it. Um, more journaling space there. Um, so yeah, I could have listened to way more of the book, but didn't. <laughs> and what I try to say is that I, I, would, I wouldn't kind of read the book because I, I hate to say it, I really hate to say it. Love this, oh, isn't it gorgeous? Um, and it says, friends have a way of speaking without words, and that folds out, so that's cool. Um, I would never read it, I hate to say it, because I just find it boring, and I really wish I didn't find it boring, I really wish I loved it. Oh, I do. And so I thought, audiobook, perfect, perfect way to be able to read the book. 
because I kind of do want to read it. Like, I want to read the classics. I want to know what people are talking about. Like, I pretty much know the story, I think, from pop culture and just other references and things in movies and books. And <laughs> um, oh, I love this cherry blossom tree. Oh, no. Is it a cherry blossom? I don't know. It just reminds me of cherry blossom. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to go for with the pink and the white. Um, and the journaling card. Oh, and the pearls here. I love it. Um, yeah, so I thought maybe I would get into it with the audiobook, but I just didn't. <laughs> it was really fun to listen to while I journaled, while I made this journal, because it was, you know, using it as inspiration while I journaled. Um, and I did find it was quite witty and funny and all of that. But I think it's just the olden day style. That type of writing I find not my cup of tea, basically. And I think that's okay. I've come to a point where it's okay to um, not like everything, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'm explaining myself right. Because I think I should. My head goes, I should like this because everyone does, and it's a classic and whatever. But it's okay to not like things <laughs> and to be okay with that. Here's a tag I did with the sewing. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy. There it is. Look, I think I'm proud of myself for getting this pretty much straight. <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited. Okay. And there's that beautiful image. The one that really inspired this journal. So, I love it. I hope you do too. Again, music because you dance to music at a ball. And another one of my envelopes I did with sewing. And again, with a journaling spot from the book. And the actual envelope is made from a page from the book so I just love those details like the tag is made from the book the envelope is made from the book so that hopefully if like anyone got this it would be a person who loved Pride and Prejudice and it's a tribute to the book even though I don't I'm not interested in it one of my stamp tags sorry um, I still want my heart is to put as much love and care and thought into it so that um, the person who gets it it's a tribute to Pride and Prejudice and to their love for it. I hope that makes sense. And like I put letters in here. It's like Tim Holtz cards and chose ones that have letters to go with that letter that she was reading. And there were a lot of letters that were in this book. A fabric flip and <laughs> German card. I just love that. This is so beautiful. Ah. <laughs> and then there's the back. And I just love this image too. So... I don't know, I hope I did justice to the book. That's what my aim was, to do justice to Pride and Prejudice. So, and yeah, it's a little bit hard when you haven't read the book, but I really do hope that did justice to it <laughs> and honoured it. And yeah, just a tribute to Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> Let me know how, how I did. <laughs> Um, in the comments so that would be really helpful to me to know how I did with that um, and of course if you are interested in purchasing it I, I didn't deck it out like I did way like it probably is quite decked out actually but not to the extent of some of my others because I wanted this to be the star of the show I wanted Pride and Prejudice just the simplicity for that to come through and so I didn't um, deck out every single page. I wanted it to be, yeah, just that tribute to <laughs> Pride and Prejudice. So, yeah, I hope I did it well. Um, yeah, so I will have that in my Etsy and shop and all the links below if anyone loves this book. <laughs> so, awesome. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I will be back shortly. See ya.